college football video games are back. And there was much rejoicing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get on with it! Yes, the news broken by ESPN today is that EA Sports is bringing back NCAA football, or at least some version of it. It's the first return to a major developer making a college football game since 2014. One of the best sports games ever, by the way, NCAA Football 14. But what can we realistically expect out of this release? And what do we know about it as of now? Let's discuss. So it's been about eight years since a major developer took on a college football video game. And this is a big deal. It seemed in 2014, after several lawsuits and licensing agreements breaking down, it seemed like we would never have a return to a true college football game. It seemed like the best we were ever going to get was some of these smaller indie devs making a college football simulation or, or something of, of that nature. But we would never again be able to see our favorite schools, logos. We would never, certainly never be able to see the players' names and anything like that. Well, all that is changing, or at least some of it. EA announced that they would bring back their college football game. Now, what we've seen from this story in ESPN is it's very early in the process. That is a direct quote. So we don't even know, we don't know what we're looking at. Uh, we do know that it'll be coming out on the next gen consoles, uh, but we don't even really know what it's going to be called officially. Now, what we know is that they're rolling with this brand name, EA Sports College Football. So it's not going to be called NCAA Football anymore. That's kind of a minor thing, uh, but just know if someone says EA Sports College Football, that's what they mean. Now, to me, this is probably a mistake. People are still going to call it NCAA Football because so many in the community, we we remember NCAA Football 14 so fondly, that's just going to be the name. But let's talk about what we do know about it as opposed to the things that we don't. Now, what we do know is EA is working with the Collegiate Licensing Company, the CLC, uh, which licenses many major Division I schools. They license their logos and their jerseys and all of that kind of thing. Uh, so EA has gone to them to license all of the schools. So what, according to this ESPN article, what we're told is uh, they've secured the use of stadiums, uniforms, mascots, traditions, and names for over 100 teams in the FBS. Now in NCAA Football 14, there were also FCS schools uh, we have no idea if those are going to make a return or not. I think it would be pretty cool, uh, especially because we've seen FCS schools in the past uh, get some big headlines. I mean, obviously, North Dakota State comes to mind. Uh, we talk about Appalachian State when they were still in the FCS. They beat Michigan. So it'd be nice to be able to play with FCS schools uh, if possible. But this is, this is really big because... A big reason why the NCAA football series was canceled in the first place, a lot of times it's attributed, obviously, to the Ed O'Bannon lawsuit about athletes, their name, image, and likeness. Um, and that's a part of it, but a big reason was the licensing agreement between EA and the CLC broke down in the first place in 2014. Uh, it made it untenable for EA to keep that license, and so that was a big deal. And so after that, EA had actually looked into the possibility of making a college football game without any of the team uh, logos or anything. It would just it would be more focused on customization. So we've seen that type of thing now start to creep back in uh, smaller indie devs when they make sports games are really focused on the customization aspect EA originally was planning to do it but apparently the NCAA told them that the schools would not be happy there'd be lawsuits uh, EA would be held liable if people started to you know if they for instance recreated uh, NCAA football division one brought in all the logos and stuff and schools would not have been happy if they had done that. So EA, would it would have been an absolute nightmare when it came to uh, trying to curate all of the uh, creations and, and things that users were uploading. So that ended up falling through. So it certainly seems as though EA, uh, we've got to confirm that their deal with the CLC is solid and that means that we're going to get 
uh, hopefully every major college football program in the country licensed and in the game. So that much is good. But now here is the real question that of course is on everyone's mind is what are the players going to look like? Now, if you remember all the way back to the old college sports games and not just football, basketball did this too, you couldn't put any of the players' names and you couldn't obviously uh, face scan them, you couldn't uh, use their pictures like we see in games like Madden or FIFA or anything like that, but you basically had the players themselves. So you basically had, you know, uh, for example, there was uh, there was an example used, I think, in a Bleacher Report article that said if you were doing a game this year, if you wanted to have Devontae Smith in the game from Alabama, then it would be Alabama wide receiver number six, and he would be the best receiver in the country the same way Devontae Smith is. And, uh, and so if you wanted to go in, and lots of people do this, if you wanted to go in and change the names to match the team that you're on, it's pretty easy to do that because it's pretty easy to figure out which players are which. Now, it's not confirmed whether or not this is still going to be the case, but uh, the NCAA has pointed out some some certain issues here, and it's kind of a it's an interesting legal matter. The idea of officially their names, image, and likenesses are not in there, but certainly the players kind of look like them and they perform like them. So we know who they are. So does that actually count? Do they are they entitled to compensation from that? Uh, that is an interesting legal issue that I don't think has been fully. It's certainly not been fully litigated, and I don't know if it's been fully explored by EA or the NCAA. So there's lots of discussion of whether EA will use all the teams and everything that we just discussed and have the stadiums and all that, but the players themselves would actually they would be completely different players you know so not only would you would not have Alabama wide receiver number six who is exactly like Devontae Smith except it doesn't really look like him and it's not his name but Alabama wide receiver number six would actually be you know Bob Johnson and he's actually 64 overall or something like that like everything would be different now to me I don't think this would make a lot of sense to go in that direction because ultimately the community is so passionate and they're so fervent that people will just, if you allow community creations, which you have to in today's, uh, in today's video game uh, space, I mean it's just impossible to not have some kind of community involvement, community rosters or something like that. Every modern game has it except for FIFA which is absolutely baffling, I don't know why they don't do it. If you were going to have that, then the community would just create entire rosters anyway. So to me, it's kind of a moot point. I think it's mostly for EA, it's basically plausible deniability for EA to say, no, 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 we, we have nothing to do with any of this and we allow our community to get into this kind of thing. Um, I think it would be a really bad look if EA was to start cracking down on communities making you know real rosters. Um, but I, I suppose you could see it as a possibility. I mean, I suppose EA could do it. That is something that, for way down the road, we're not sure exactly what's gonna what's gonna go on with that. Um, and speaking of way down the road, we don't even know when exactly this game is going to happen. There's no confirmed release date. There's no confirmed release window. So it's hard to say exactly when. Now, I would say, given that the announcement is coming now, and given the fact that we it's been made clear in several articles that it's in the very early process, uh, I would say that t probably 2022 is when I would expect it. Probably in preparation for the 2022 college football season, that's when I would imagine that this game is probably going to release, which is fine. I got no problem with that. Now, we are, uh, I'm planning a video on this channel in a couple days. We'll discuss some of the, uh, the features that we want to see, how we want the game to play. We'll talk about the game itself. This video, as you probably noticed, is mostly dedicated to the news about the fact that the game is happening and what we could be expecting in that regard. Uh, so if you're curious about you know the features that we want to see in a game like this then subscribe because we'll have that video coming very soon um, obviously a lot of people are really happy about this we've seen a lot of a lot of uh, former NCAA football athletes uh, complaining about how the game the game didn't happen when they were in school I mean Joe Burrow uh, saying that he would have been on the cover if <laughs> if if it had happened when he was in school 
what's interesting about the whole process is the NCAA ultimately uh, the fact that all college sports games broke down was due in large part to these issues that we're facing about athlete uh, name, image, and likeness rights, and licensing agreements, and all this kind of stuff. It's a big reason why things like that started to break down. Uh, but what's funny is, a lot of times it was kind of on behalf of the athletes, when the athletes, a lot of them didn't seem to have a real issue with their likenesses being used in the games, whether or not they would get paid for it. And I think for a lot of them, I mean, it's just kind of cool to see yourself in a video game. Um, and also, it helps with the branding. And so I think a lot of athletes really understand that now. It wasn't something that was so much understood back in you know 2013, 2014 when these kind of lawsuits were happening. The idea of you becoming a brand, specifically through social media, that is a much it, it's a much bigger deal now than it used to be. So I think a lot of college athletes are going to be looking at this as an opportunity to actually do some branding, you know, beyond just beyond just what what used to be where it was kind of understood college athletes would stay away from that kind of personal branding type of thing i don't think schools want that to happen but unfortunately for them uh, that's kind of the reality of what's going on right now so there's obviously all kinds of legal battles happening between schools and the ncaa and certain athletes about what you can and can't do as an individual brand so to me the ncaa is actually the party that would least want this game to happen you know for the schools for for schools they get money from licensing so the schools are going to be making money off of this so this is good for them the players obviously a lot of them want this to happen it's good for their brands and it's just fun so a lot of them would want something like this to happen so it's good for them the only party here that wouldn't want and obviously ea is going to make money off the game so they would want it to happen. The only party who wouldn't want this to happen would be the NCAA because it would put them in a situation where they are gradually allowing athletes to have more and more uh, uh, personal branding ability, uh, more rights when it comes to uh, branding. And eventually you're going to start, you're going to, if we have not already, start down a, a slippery slope that eventually leads to full name, image, and likeness rights belonging to athletes. And if that happens, then we start to get into the debate of whether or not we pay college athletes. And that is a completely separate debate that I've taken on in several videos in the past and probably will take on in many more videos to come. It's a very interesting issue. But when it pertains to this game in particular, this could actually, in a lot of ways, represent a real turning point when it comes to name image and likeness rights for athletes we talked about i think last year or 18 months ago at this point california's new uh, name image and likeness uh uh regulations the new uh, laws that they've put into place regarding name image and likeness rights and those don't kick in i think until 2025 but it really got the ball rolling for athletes being in control of their names images and likenesses and this game could go a very long way into in in actually introducing that debate to a lot of people who haven't really followed it very much um, and also introducing to players and to schools that there's a lot of money in this and the NCAA is is either holding that money for themselves or they're kind of or they're kind of throwing it away when it comes to athletes and schools making money off things like this so I think that beyond the fact that all of us are very very happy that it that this game is back we'll get to play college sports again uh, in a video game setting. So many of us still play NCAA 14. I mean, you're seeing it on the screen right now. It's what I'm playing. But on top of that, the effect this could have on the name, image, and likeness debate, I think is very profound. Um, and maybe just the the mere announcement that this game is happening will really get the ball rolling uh, towards the NCAA figuring out a nationwide rule about athletes collecting on their name image and likeness rights and whether that will have an effect uh in the game if we're going to actually see by the time this game releases we're going to be able to see athletes themselves uh, actually be in the game at their name image likeness everything will be in the game i mean there's so much that could happen between now and potential release which as i said i wouldn't expect 
uh, for another probably year and a half at this point. So a lot could happen. All we do know is NCAA football is back. It may pave the way towards NCAA baseball, or I'm sorry, uh, NCAA basketball, which would then pave the way to something that I have always really wanted, which is a game where you have all kinds of different sports, almost like little mini games, little NCAA sports. I always thought that would be cool, but that's, that's something for a completely separate video. And again, if you wanna hear us discuss uh, the actual features, what we want to see in the game itself this far from release. That video will be coming shortly, so sus subscribe here to GA Sports. Make sure you see it. Thank you very, very much, as always, for listening. We appreciate you.